You're watching IOTV. We are in Denver at the Outdoor Retailer Snow Show. I'm with Paul Healds, owner and founder of SportTube. Paul, it's good to be with you today. Tell me a little bit about your company and, and what brings you to Denver. Well, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. And uh, thanks for doing this, giving us this opportunity. Um, we're here at the Outdoor Retailer Show. I'm, as you say, founder of SportTube Products. We've been in business since uh, 1995. We were one of the first companies to make a hard plastic case uh, for traveling with skis and snowboards. Uh, it's been very successful. We're number one in the world at doing what we do. And uh, we've progressed our business on to, into making soft luggage. And then uh, about five years ago, we moved into making soft ski bags, soft boot bags. Uh, and that's gone very successfully over the past number of years. We seem to be growing our business every year. Now, um, why do athletes uh, trust your company with their sensitive equipment? Well, you have to look at it. You know, skis are pretty strong, but the airlines are also very abusive on this kind of product. Uh, you know, edges get damaged, bindings get broken, sidewalls get dented in. Uh, it's good to have a pair of skis inside a hard case. Uh, the, it's a high density polyethylene case. So what we're seeing is that that box creates a shield around the equipment. You know, the case can be thrown around, jumped up and down on. Even the baggage handlers at the local airport here can't, uh, can't break our cases and certainly not break the equipment that's inside them. Um, and can you tell me a little bit more about how they've been received among consumers? Uh, well, as I say, we've been doing it for 23 years now. Uh, we sell to multiple uh, outlets throughout the United States. In fact, we really sell to about 34 different countries. Um, and countries that you wouldn't, you'd be surprised to think, why are you selling hard cases in the Middle East? Uh, we have a very broad range of uh, businesses that we sell to, it's not just ski, we sell to fishing, spear fishing, uh, model airplane enthusiasts, we sell uh, uh, to golf, we sell actually out of the ski industry altogether, in the sporting industry altogether. Like, uh, like one gentleman just came over here and asked if he could fit his chainsaw in a bag. That's right, great point, you know, we have to get creative on things like that, you know, no we don't sell chains, chainsaw cases, but hey, it would work, so yeah. And uh, I understand that, um, that you're also uh, working with the Wild Side brand, so let's go and check those out. Okay. So, Paul, tell me a little bit about the Wild Side um, brand and um, and how it's linked to Sport Two. Well, there's a good story to this, actually. Uh, my wife has been riding electric bikes for a number of years. I ride regular bikes, and uh, a number of years ago in um, northern Michigan, where we have a little place, uh, she was riding away from me, and I'm chasing after her and getting all hot and sweaty on the way to the restaurant. And I looked at her, and she was looking great, and I'm all <laughs> uncomfortable. And I said, I need one of those bikes. So I spent uh, a few days looking for a cruiser bike and uh, eventually found this design and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a brand around this. That's a short story. So uh, this time last year we started creating Wildside and uh, we brought the product into the country in August of last year and now we're just starting to grow the business. We see a lot of growth potential in e-bikes. You know, Europe, uh, well first of all, Asia is hugely involved in the e-bike business and the electric vehicle, is, it's just enormous. Europe is is uh, as big and growing still. America is a number of years behind that right now. I really think that we're probably about six years behind the, the European market in sales of e-bikes. Now, um, so talk to me a little bit about um, about this. You know, how, do, how do you turn it on? Well, you know what? We don't hide it that much, but it is over here underneath the power control. There's three buttons on the power control here, okay. and you push and hold the bottom button, and it fires up the display. We're in, it always starts off in what we call pedal assist number one. Uh, you push and hold the upper button and the display light comes on and the headlight comes on. Uh, this bike is what's called a class one pedal assist bike, which means there are some rules and we have to thank California for creating these class system bikes, these three classes. Class one is a bike that's governed at 20 miles an hour, um, it has to be under 750 watts, and then a class two bike uses the same criteria, but is actually allowed to have a throttle or an accelerator, so you don't have to pedal. On this bike, you have to pedal. And finally, you have a class three bike, and that class three 
bike is allowed to go to 20, 28 miles an hour rather than just 20 miles an hour. Are these the same models here? Uh, these are actually not. This is called the Wild Side Beast. It's called the Beast because of the size of the bike, the four inch fat tires. This is the ladies version that we sell. It uses the same frame geometry, but we've got a different front end with the double spring of forks and then a narrower back end as well. We use a 2.5 uh, Schwalbe fat franc tire on this. So it's a little bit lighter. Uh, it's easier for um, a shorter person, a female to handle. We do make a men's version of this in a different colorways. And that one's called the Shadow. We got a nice headlight there too. For Great headlight, yeah. And we also put a solar-powered um, uh, rear light on it. That's where you know the, the vintage style meets kind of modern technology with this. But as you can see, with this style of bike, uh, it's not a mountain bike. It's not a road bike. We really like to call it a lifestyle bike. Right. This is your your coffee shop bike, your bar bike, your restaurant bike. Running down to your friend's house with a bottle of wine to sit on the deck and, and enjoy it. Saturday afternoon bike. That's right. And how much do these retail for? Uh, the Beast is twenty. Twenty-nine ninety-five, and the the uh, Honey Bunny and the Shadow at twenty-six ninety-five. Where can I buy it? You can buy it at Pedal Power up in uh, Vale. We've got some dealers in California, in Huntington Beach, and Encinitas that are selling them. But right now, our goal is to try and build that dealer base, that retailer base. So we're looking for retails, but of course, you can always buy it at Wildside.com. Well, hey, thanks for going over these uh, models with us, Sue. It's nice chatting with you. And good luck.